this is Di from Be Mommy with Style and today I wanted to do a video all about bringing Walt Disney World home with me and some of my favorite things that I have here around the house that either remind me of my favorite Disney vacations or just my favorite Disney things to have around the house. So this is not a sponsored video, these are just some of my favorites and I just ordered some more coffee in the mail so I wanted to share that as a part of this and also before we jump fully into the moving vlogs which will be like pretty much taking over next week I wanted to get this video done because it has been on my list to do for a while and I wanted to make sure that I did it before I lost everything in the move so I'm gonna jump right into it and here are some of my favorite ways to bring Walt Disney World home with me so my first way is probably my number one favorite way also and I have started using this H2O blushing orange shampoo and conditioner and these are the shampoos and conditioners that are found in the moderate resorts we use these at the Caribbean Beach Resort when we were there and have also had people send these to me before as well and it's kind of like that whole scent memory thing where if you use these at the Disney parks and then you have a great time, it kind of just gives you the happy memory every time you use it. So I ordered these from the Disney store and I'm on about my second or third round of these and they're really cute. If you order it in a set, it's around $36 and you get these full size shampoo and conditioners and then it comes with a cute little Mickey size, Mickey like topper ones as well that you can use for traveling. So I love using these in my shower and I use them daily and I also feel like it really helps my hair like feel softer and calms it down a little bit. So this is probably one of my favorite ways to bring Walt Disney World home with me. The next way is in this big box and I have talked about this before previously but I just put another order in because they just had an awesome summer sale. So I wanted to share this with you guys and I ordered this myself during the summer sale. But the next way is to have Joffrey's coffee as my morning coffee. And this is not one that's carried in the parks. I have, I have other varieties that are actually in the parks or in the resort rooms as well. But this one is my absolute favorite from Joffrey's and it's the French vanilla. And it, I'm telling you guys, I wish I had smell vision It just smells so good. And so this is how they come packaged. This is really finely, um, you know, like grated. I don't know if that makes sense, coffee. And so it just blends really, really nicely. It's so nice and smooth. And I absolutely love the French vanilla. So this is my favorite. But then something new that I tried this time because Joffrey's is the official coffee of Walt Disney World. They have the kinds that are, you can order the kind that you get in your resort room directly from their website. So I'll try to remember to put the website down below. But I ordered this and I, I think it was new. This is Tusker House coffee and it's dark. It's full and robust aroma with hints of chocolate and caramel and a subtle smoky finish. So Tusker House is one of our favorite character dining places. And you guys probably know if you've seen our videos that Animal Kingdom is near and dear to our heart. So when I saw this, I was like, I want it. <laughs> so. It smells really, really good. It's like a really rich, like broody coffee, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm using the right word there, but it seems like a really hearty coffee. So I'm gonna be interested to try this for the first time, but they have from different resorts, different styles, different theme parks, different restaurants. So go check it out. If you're a Disney fan, they have a whole Disney section on their website. So I got those two coffees. And then also, not necessarily Disney related, but from Joffrey's, I got this black currant tea. And I really love their satchel tea bags. They're just really easy to use. So this is what I got on my most recent order. And I also like the South Pacific tea as well. But it smells amazing. I'm telling you, if you love French vanilla coffee, try this coffee. And then get one of the Disney ones while you order as well. So the next way that I love to bring Disney home is with a calendar. And for the past couple years, I've gotten, there's like an official like wall calendar from Disney. You can order this on the Disney Parks app right on your phone or you can pick it up when you're down there. And so I like to traditionally do that and have that in the playroom. But actually one of you guys sent this little calendar to me. So thank you Cindy for this awesome calendar because we have been changing it out every single day and it's been a really cool thing for the girls to kind of see what characters are on the day and you guys can see like it just changes. It's different characters every single day. There's Belle. So they love seeing what character is coming up and seeing what, you know, the different like writing or fact is gonna be down at the bottom. And so I keep this out of my desk, which right now in this house is in the kitchen and they've enjoyed like kind of 
going in through it day by day and they help me change the pages and all of that too. So I have to find a place in the new house where I can keep that displayed but that is my third way is a calendar somewhere in the house. It's just like is a nice visual reminder and kind of makes you smile as you walk past. My fourth way that I like to bring Disney home and I'm kind of sensing a theme like the scents or like the three things are because of scents. But I have these scented candles. These are from Walter and Rosie Candle Company. And I follow them on Instagram. They also have a website. And they have tons and tons of Disney scents. And I think even recently they've gotten super popular and things kind of sell out quickly. So you may have to keep an eye on it if you are into this sort of thing. But it's just these wax melts. And you can pop, I use them in my Scentsy Warmer, just full disclosure. Um, but you can pop them in your warmer and um, you know pop out a cube at a time and they're Disney inspired scents. So right now I have, I'm so glad I left my tower, which was for like a special edition Rapunzel one that they did not too long ago, which I don't know if these are still available. And then also Best Day Ever, which was another one of those um, special edition. And you know what? In fact, these were a collab between Walter and Rosie Candle Company and Happily Ever After Teas, which I think I have shirts from them. But anyhow, oh, this one smells really good best day ever so if you really like like smooth like not overly floral um just like calming scents uh oh best day ever smells really good anyhow um walter and rosie candle company they have scents like confectionery company uh main street just all those different places so it's a really neat way just to pop it in your warmer and be reminded of some of your favorite places around disney world and my last way to bring home Disney, one of my favorite ways, and I'm definitely gonna miss this after we move, is number five, going shopping at our local Disney outlet. So we are so lucky where I'm located at in Michigan. We have a huge outlet mall called Great Lakes Crossing that is right down the road. It's really easy drive for me. And they have a Disney store there, but the thing is it's not just your regular Disney store. So they have all of the Disney store items you'd find, like a Disney store and a regular mall, but they also have a special section with Disney park merchandise at a special discount. So I can actually go shopping for Disney Park merchandise like and not even have to sit in a plane for two hours. And so it's a really cool thing and it rotates all the time. You never know what they're gonna have. It's kind of like a home goods in that sense. But the last time we were in there, we found these um, ears for my girls to wear on our next upcoming trip. And these were sold in the parks. So regular price in the parks would be like $24.99 to $29.99. And I got them for $9.99 each. So really awesome deal. And we love both of these characters at our house, especially Sleeping Beauty. So um, I love checking out the park section at our outlet. I'm really gonna miss um, not having that close anymore. But they have some awesome deals. So if you're ever at an outlet mall that has a Disney store, you may see stop in and just see if they have the special park section um, because I know like in Chicago they have Gurney Meals and I'm not sure if Gurney Mills has like the same type of idea because I don't think I've been I don't know if they even have a Disney store to be honest with you but if you're at Great Lakes Crossing they have a special Disney section so you can get fun things like that I actually picked up and we're not going to Christmas this year I don't believe but these were $6.99. So you have to buy them when you see them, folks, right? So these were $6.99, such an amazing deal. So I got these for our next Christmas trip. And then fun things like these activity books started out in the Disney parks. And then they eventually got clearance down to the outlet that was right by me. So regular price on these were $9.95 and I got them for $3.99. So these are pretty cool. These are play and pack kits. I'm gonna use these on our road trip coming up. So that's really fun. This one says $6.99, but I got them both for $3.99. So you can find really fun items like this. And that was one way I was able to bring Walt Disney World home and just drive down the road just a few minutes and uh, be able to shop for Disney Parks merchandise. But if you don't have that close, you can always do the Shop Parks app on your phone, which I still really love that as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out all the different ways that I love to bring Walt Disney World home when it's not time for one of our trips. And we will be having moving vlogs coming up for you very, very soon. Yes, if you're watching this video and you're a Disney fan and you're just checking in for the Disney stuff, we do have a Disney trip coming up 
fairly soon after we move and get settled in. Then we're going to Disney World again this year, so we're excited about that. And I'll be after we move to our new house and settle in, I'll kind of share about our Disney plans and what we're thinking about doing. So that is all coming up, and these are some of my favorite ways to bring Walt Disney World home. So I'm going to be bringing these to my new house with me, and I'm going to be enjoying the blushing orange scents and my coffee and all of that at the new house as well. So thanks so much for watching today. I'll try to put any links below, but definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.